Uh, Minnetonka man says he was assaulted while just trying to do the right thing. This evening, he's speaking out to a group of teenagers who sent him to the hospital. 70-year-old Bob Zemecki was beaten when he tried to stop a fight between teens near his home. He told our Reg Chapman about the ordeal and how he hopes speaking out tugs at the conscience of those responsible. It was around 3 in the afternoon Monday when Bob Zemecki says his honeydew list thrust him in the middle of a fight between high school girls. I was going to paint my doors that day, opened up my garage. That's when Bob says he saw a group of about 20 girls gathered near his home preparing to fight. Said to him, we don't need to fight. I remember saying that to somebody, and I'm going to call the cops. Seconds later, the brawl began. I just simply went out and decided that I was going to stop him from fighting. Bob says he found himself in the middle, trying to pull one girl away from another. They were taking pictures. And that's what I thought was pathetic. I says, don't get the pictures, call the cops. Before police arrived, Bob says he was sucker punched. And that's when things got kind of dark. I'm on the ground. I'm lit. And suddenly it became a very obvious thing that, well, this got out of control. They all left me. They didn't care whether I got up off the ground or not. Bob says what hurt him most is the kids responsible ran away without checking to see if he was alive or dead. But the eye socket is fractured. Bob also has a concussion, abrasions on his back, bruised ribs, and countless cuts. If I thought that I was going to get hurt, would I have dialed 911 first? You better. Believe I would. Bob says over the years, kids from Hopkins High have stood near his property and smoked cigarettes. He's never had a problem. He wants the teens involved to know their actions were criminal and could have been fatal. Be responsible for our actions. You know, they need that. They really do need that. Everybody needs to be responsible. We're all part of the same society. Now, Bob says he believes we all are responsible for our neighborhoods. That's why he tried to stop someone from getting hurt in his. He says he will heal, but it may take longer for his heart to heal. He's hurt because the teens hurt him and then left. Minnetonka police are searching for the teens involved in that attack. Well, hopefully they'll find them. Hope so. yeah. All right. Thank you, Reg. Mm -hmm.